Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to have a look at a whole suite of new products which are coming out over in mainland China. That is simplified Chinese as opposed to Hong Kong and Taiwan with traditional Chinese. But keep watching, because I promise you, this stuff is cool. Starting off with the... Battle Peripheral Gift Box Washing Koi Daily. I'm not entirely sure. Google Translate is not doing the, the best job here. But it's trying its best. Gosh darn it. And basically, this is a product which is going, look. The new Chinese set is based around Legend Arceus. Remember, they're a little bit behind. Why don't we have a cool new box which plays along with that? And what you get is... You get yourself a deck box that looks like a Hasuian Pokeball. And a couple of dividers which match quite nicely as well. These are actually really nice. If you like Legends Arceus and you should, the game is brilliant. This is a very cool product. I like it. But then they've gone even further with 10 sets of exclusive sleeves. Except it's not 10. It's 13. Once again, I need to remind you guys... That what China could easily have done here is they could have just gone, look, we're behind, we're catching up, let's just catch up. Let's just release a bunch of products that have already been released and go from there. But no, instead they're going, what if we made a bunch of new stuff that's never been seen before? Bunch of new products, bunch of new accessories, bunch of new artworks bunch of new cards we've seen in some places what if we did all of that as well and apparently that's what they've done and this is awesome so what we've got here is we've got ourselves the male protagonist riding on a basket legion okay cool and then we got the female protagonist riding on a weird ear with her suing decidueye just kind of chilling in the back and then we've got Hasui and Sneasler carrying the male protagonist up the side of a mountain. I mean, this is all from the game, right? And then we've got one with Hasui and Samurott and the female protagonist. And then we've got one with your Hasui and Voltorb just kind of rolling away with all the Pokeballs because I don't know why not. Then we've got one with Hasui and Zorua and Hasui and Zoroa. Which I assume is going to be fairly popular. Then we've got Hasui and Growlithe, who is adorable. And then Volo comes in making a bit of an appearance with Hasui and Typhlosion and Togepi. I don't know why. Why not? And then we've got Adamant with Leafeon and a bunch of the other relevant Pokemon. And Irida with Glaceon. I mean, yeah. Ten different sleeves, all awesome. And this is ridiculous, honestly. I like it. But there's also three hidden versions, except they're not quite hidden. We've already seen them. It's three different versions of Arceus, a silver, a black, and a multicolor. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say these might be the worst ones. Like all the others, we've got these lovely new illustrations of characters and Pokemon from the Hisui region. And these, it's just generic Arceus artwork with a different background. So, I'd actually be kind of sad if I pulled these. Oh, you also get an Arceus coin. Because I don't know why not. But then there are Pokemon Flash cards. So, basically, what you get is you get two cards in this pack. One of which is a Pokeball. It's either a Feather Ball, a Heavy Ball, or a Voltorb. <laughs> I kind of love this. That one of the two cards you get is a Feather Ball or a Heavy Ball or a Voltorb, which isn't a Pokeball, but looks like a Pokeball. And actually, that's kind of funny. I, I think this is cool. I think this is actually really fun. And yeah, I think this is awesome. The other one you get is either an Arceus V or an Arceus V. But one of them is the Arceus V promo card. We got it in a gift box. It was a early purchase bonus of the game in japan it is one of the coolest artworks that we have had now the ratio is nine to one it actually says on the packet 10 to one that is a mistake it is a nine to one ratio i.e one in ten of the packs 
you are going to get the special Arceus. For every nine of the regular Arceus, there will be one of the special Arceus. So the odds are quite low, but it's also extremely cool. Oh, and then you also get a, a five-card booster pack. I'll be honest with you. Remember in China, there's five-card and 25-card booster packs? The one random booster pack, not loving it so much, if I'm honest with you. However, I just, just don't need it. But getting a pack of sleeves at random and the deck box and the promo cards, that's enough, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough. But if it's not enough, don't worry, because there's also a frame product. There's one featuring Asui and Typhlosion and one featuring Lucario. Remember the recent Japanese set? They were essentially the two cover Pokemon of the set. So that makes sense. And what you get yourself here is a frame and some packs. Now, you actually get yourself one of the packs of Hisui and Typhlosion or Lucario. And then the other one you actually get yourself is the Hisui and Zoroark, the one I've been showing you recently. And you get the frame. This is one of those ones. Absolutely go and get it for the frame. Oh, I should be telling you how much these cost, shouldn't I? So these ones, the ones with the frame, come in at 88 Chinese one Remimbi. Again, I'm pronouncing that as best as I can. And 88 one comes in at around about $12. Just a smidge over $12. The sleeve and deck box one I just showed you is also 88 one. But that's not all. If you want a more expensive product, how about the Radiant Energy Pokemon Collection card booked gift box? Whew, bit of a mouthful there. And there are three of them that are available. One featuring Charizard, one featuring Lucario, and one featuring Hisui and Samurott. I think we can all assume which one is going to be the most popular. And you get some packs, which is cool. Six packs. And you get yourself a little binder. Charizard comes, it's a little two card wallet. So it's like a little wallet that stores one card on either side. They used to make these a while ago. I've got some of these, but from way back in the day. I don't think they make many of these anymore, but they're apparently coming out here. And you've got the one with Charizard has a fire energy symbol. Lucario has a fighting energy symbol. And Hasui and Samurott has the darkness energy symbol, plus the appropriate coloring. And as much as I love another Charizard product, it does look like essentially you've got the box which has got a Charizard on, and that's it. Like, even the portfolio seems to just have the energy symbol. But maybe the coolest thing about these, and this is extremely cool, you get one of the Radiant Energy Packs. Oh, yeah. Now, I've told you about these a couple of times, but essentially, the way this works, one of the four cards, at random, is either Pikachu, Eevee, or Sobble, but the Sobble is the Kanazawa promo from the opening of the Kanazawa Pokemon Center, which I find absolutely bizarre. Or Celebration Fanfare. Which was a prize card over in Japan, which is randomly coming in this product, which is weird, but there we go. The other card is the one that could be many things, including the Gold Battle VIP Pass. And I told you this before, but let me tell you again now. I have seen reports about this pack which are completely untrue. I've heard it's a one-card pack. That's not true. I've heard that it is one of, like, five promos or four promos. That's not true. You get one of the four, which is your Pikachu, Eevee, Sobble, or Celebration Fanfare. And then the other one is actually one out of 19, including Battle VIP Pass, but also 18 other cards. There we go. And this is not so cheap. This is a real marquee product. It is 391 to get this box, which comes in at, let's call it $54. Still not terrible, but not terribly cheap. You get six 25 card booster packs, if anybody's wondering. And then the final product, we've got two different versions. It's something we've seen before. We've got the sleeve box, one featuring Alteria and one featuring Komo-O. Remember, these are all dragons. So that's kind of the point here. They are supposed to feature dragons. But it also comes with the dragon booster pack, which can only be found in these dragon products, as well as a couple of other packs which aren't as important. But you get the dragon pack here, 
which is where you get a bunch of dragon stuff. There's been a bunch of dragon products that have this in, but it's one of these packs you can only get from these dragon products, so very, very much worth picking up. The 88 one, like the products I showed you at the beginning. But these are cool. You do get a five card pack of each of the Hisuian Typhlosion and the Lucario. That is not so important. You get the sleeves and the dragon pack. That is why you're buying this. So there we go. Bunch of new products you need to know about. But I've told you about them. And now you do know about them. And that's lovely. So now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all these. Tell me if they're the ones you're thinking about. Tell me anything you want to tell me in this comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Star of Dav, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.